Evolution of Jafar. Aladdin, 1992. Jafar appears voiced by Jonathan Freeman. He is the Sultan's most trusted advisor. Jafar secretly plots to obtain the genie's magical oil lamp and rule Agrabah. Early in the movie, Aladdin is imprisoned in the palace dungeons, as arranged by Jafar due to his influence over the guards. Jafar strikes a deal with him. In exchange for Aladdin's help in retrieving the lamp from the Cave of Wonders, Jafar reveals an escape route from the prison and promises him a reward if he succeeds. It is soon revealed that the reward is death. When the plan fails, Aladdin and the lamp are lost. Later, Jafar decides to use the hypnotic powers of his cobra-headed staff to manipulate the sultan into mandating a marriage between himself and Jasmine. However, he is impeded by Aladdin, who had discovered the genie and used his first wish to become a prince. Seeing Prince Ali as a potential threat to his plans and a rival for Jasmine's hand in marriage, he plots to dispose of him. However, Aladdin survives and then exposes Jafar's plot against the Sultan. After this, Jafar learns that Aladdin possesses the lamp before making his escape. Iago steals the lamp from Aladdin, and Jafar becomes the genie's new master. Jafar uses his first two wishes to become Sultan and the world's most powerful sorcerer. A horrified Jasmine begs Jafar to stop, and Jafar does so. Jafar offers Jasmine his hand in marriage, but she angrily refuses and throws a cup of wine in his face. An angered Jafar decides to use his final wish to wish for Jasmine to fall desperately in love with him. Genie tries to inform Jafar that he cannot use his magic to make people fall in love. Aladdin battles Jafar, who has turned into a giant cobra, and taunts him with the fact that he is only the second most powerful being on earth after Genie. He has tricked Jafar into wasting his wish on becoming a genie, since genies are not free beings, and becomes trapped in a magic lamp of his own, which is sent into the Cave of Wonders by the genie. The Return of Jafar, 1994 Jafar's lamp is found by Abis Mal, who summons Jafar from the lamp. Jafar plots to get revenge on Aladdin. He nearly succeeds at killing Aladdin and taking control of the palace, but Iago, who has changed sides, thwarts his plans and ruins his lamp with the lava obliterating Jafar in a resulting explosion, since a genie imprisoned in a lamp cannot survive without it. Hercules, the series, 1999. In the episode Hercules and the Arabian Night, Jafar makes another attempt at revenge and is resurrected by Hercules's arch-enemy, Hades. He has lost his status as an all-powerful immortal genie after dying, but Hades gives him a new cobra staff that makes him flesh and blood as long as he holds it, and the two villains team up to get rid of Aladdin and Hercules. However, due to Aladdin's wit and Hercules's strength, Jafar is defeated for the final time, being pulled into the river Styx forever. Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowed In at the House of Mouse, 2001. Jafar appears briefly in the final song in the end of this movie. House of Mouse, 2001. Jafar is featured in many episodes of this show, where he is often found in the audience. In one episode, Donald's Lamp Trade, Jafar hypnotizes Donald Duck to steal a lamp for him, but it turns out that he only wanted a clock-like lamp and not the real magical one. Jafar also appears in another episode, Pete's House of Villains, in which he keeps the other Aladdin characters from coming into House of Mouse. Mickey's House of Villains, 2002. Jafar appears as the main antagonist, in which he relieved the villains of the Halloween boredom at the House of Mouse by taking it over and transforming it into the House of Villains. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy demand for him to leave. In response, he summons Ursula, Hades, Maleficent, and Chernabog, and they quite literally throw them out. Minnie intervenes and challenges him, but she is dragged away without effort. However, Jafar is later sealed into his magic lamp, after Mickey dons his magical hat and challenges him to a duel, and Aladdin sneaks in through the side door holding said lamp. The other villains flee with their leader defeated. Electric Holiday, 2012 Jafar makes a brief, non-speaking cameo in the animated short movie, watching in the crowd as Disney character models walk down the runway. Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, 2013 a live-action version of Jafar appears in the Once Upon a Time spin-off. Naveen Andrews portrays the character, an ally of the Red Queen. In this continuity, Jafar is the illegitimate son of the Sultan, and his interest in genie stems from his mentor and lover, Amara, who discovered a ritual that could be used to rewrite the laws of magic using the power of three genies and two sorcerers. Jafar betrayed Amara by transforming her into his serpent staff so that he could have her power for himself. 
Aladdin on Broadway, 2014. In the Broadway adaptation of the movie, Jafar is notably portrayed by his voice actor Jonathan Freeman and plays out a role fairly similar to that of the 1992 animated movie. In this version, his three wishes differed in the musical than the movie. His first wish was to make Jasmine his prisoner. The second was to become Sultan, though not to rule high so the palace stayed where it was, and the third, like the movie, was to become a genie. As told by Emoji, 2015. An emoticon version of Jafar appears in the Aladdin entry of the short series. After being tricked into becoming a genie, he becomes trapped in the smartwatch that initially held genie captive. Descendants, 2015. Jafar appears alongside Maleficent, Cruella de Vil, and the Evil Queen as part of a group of Disney villains who are the parents of the movie's four main characters, with Mosh Jabrani playing the role. In the movie, he is the father of Jay, who steals items for his father's store. Once Upon a Time, 2016. Jafar appears in the sixth season of this show as an antagonist. Naveen Andrews, who portrayed Jafar in Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, was unable to reprise the role due to a scheduling conflict, and Jafar is instead portrayed by Oded Fair. Mickey Mouse, 2018. In the episode Feed the Birds, Jafar briefly appears on Mickey's TV via archive footage from the original movie, when the pigeons are channel surfing. Aladdin, 2019. Depicted younger in the live-action version, Jafar, portrayed by Marwan Kenzari, is still the Grand Visor, but more emphasis is placed on his past as a thief in his youth and his ambition to use Agrabah to invade the kingdom of Shurabad out of revenge for his time in its dungeons. The Sultan's wife and Princess Jasmine's late mother, the Queen, was stated to have been a princess of Shurabad prior to her marriage to the Sultan, and it is possible that Jafar arranged her murder as both revenge for his imprisonment and possibly to instigate war between the two kingdoms. The movie also presents Jafar as a foil to Aladdin, the former explicitly comparing their thief backgrounds and desire to improve their social status. While Aladdin wants just enough to live comfortably, Jafar is shown to never be satisfied with what he has gained, as long as there are those greater than himself. Aladdin uses that character flaw to trick Jafar into using his last wish to become a genie, resulting in his imprisonment and being thrown into the Cave of Wonders by the genie. The Simpsons in Plus Aversary, 2021 Jafar briefly appears as the cameo character at Moe's Tavern. The Simpsons, Welcome to the Club, 2022. Jafar appears in the musical with many classic Disney villains, alongside several Disney Prince characters. He is shown trying to convince Lisa to become a Disney villain.